Welcome back to Excel for Economics. In this uh, video, we'll be looking at columns and rows. So consider we have an array uh, here with uh, six columns of data and eight, eight rows of uh, data. Now let's consider functions. So the column function, if we just leave our entry blank, it will give us the column of the cell we're in. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's the tenth column. And we can also get the row in the same way. And we're in the thirteenth row, which makes sense. We could also do a particular row. So we could do E11. And we can see that that's clearly the fifth uh, column. And this should be the 11th row. Now, we can also reverse this and get the address back using the address function. And we just simply give it the row and then the column. And it will give us E11. And this is an absolute address. So we can get the absolute address. We can alternate through. So we can just copy these things down. Let's just force these to be particular row or column. So if we go into our function, we can see that we can set this as an absolute by using one. If we use comma two, it will give us an absolute row. If we do comma three, it will give us an absolute column. And if we do comma four, then it'll be a relative type of position. We can also, the default is true, but we can change the style of what it returns, so it'll say row 11, column 5, rather than E11. And the last thing we can do is we can give it a, a worksheet that it's referencing. So we'll give it an absolute position. we we'll go with true, and we will go with column row, indicating that it should be from this worksheet. Uh, this should be a string, so it should be in quotations, so it should be a text string. And here you can see that it gives the worksheet followed by the um, by the cell reference. Uh, if we want to get the number of rows or columns in a in an array, then we can use the columns plural function, and we just give it the array. So this is a nine by seven array. And we can recover that nine by seven um, array here. So that's 63. We can also take this entire array and string it out into a column. So this should be 63 entries. And here we can find that we're at 84, minus 22 should be give us 63. And if we wanted to spread it out into a giant row, then we just simply give it the array and enter. And it will write these things out. Note that this is grayed out, so it's not something you can edit. So if you tried to delete this or do something to it, it will immediately, because this is the primary one, re-enter that value back in. Okay. And in the next video, we'll talk about matches and, and then move on to unique references. See you in the next video.